Lesson 29 Bulk Updations In this chapter we'll discuss about the options that are provided under the bulk updations menu and we have not covered them in our previous chapter Basically as we have discussed in our previous chapter bulk updations provide various options to update vouchers or masters in bulk so in this chapter we'll discuss the options that were not covered in the chapter 28 First of all we'll go to administration bulk updations menu options provided at the top are already covered in the chapter 28 in this chapter we'll start from the multiple account creation modification option using this option you can create multiple accounts in bulk or you can modify multiple account masters in bulk using a single screen on selecting this option a screen is appearing here first you need to select you want to add new master or modify existing master we are selecting modify existing master option and then you need to specify the key field that is the unique identifier that is you want to modify masters based on the account name or account alias so we have selected name option then you can click the select fields button to add or remove any fields in the grid that is appearing on the screen that is you can remove any column or you can add any columns in the grid then we are clicking the load masters button here we are selecting the account group sundry debtors option and you can see on the screen the accounts we have selected are appearing on the screen along with their data so you can make any modification in this data you can change the details like you can add alias you can make changes in the opening balance and so on this is the use of this utility that using a single screen you can update or create multiple masters in one go now we are selecting the add new master to add a new master so you can see on the screen we are specifying the account name group name opening balance email id if any so you can create as many accounts as are required by you using a single screen next we will be discussing multiple item creation and modification option this option is totally similar to the multiple account creation modification option using this option you can create or modify multiple item masters on selecting this option again we are selecting the modify existing masters option that is we want to modify the existing item master we have selected the key field as name then we are clicking the load masters button and selecting all the item masters here you can see all the item masters are appearing along with their data and you can make the required changes in the data that is you can update data accordingly as per your requirement so this utility is very helpful as using this utility you can update or create multiple masters using a single screen next is multiple tax category creation modification using this option you can create or modify multiple tax categories in one go on selecting this option here again we are selecting the modify masters option then clicking the load masters button and selecting all the existing tax categories all the existing tax categories are appearing on the screen along with the data so you can make any changes as per your requirement Next is bulk voucher creation modification option. Using this option you can create or modify vouchers in bulk. On selecting this option first you need to select the voucher type for vouchers belonging to which are to be modified or added. Then select the format. We are creating a new format by clicking the configure button, selecting the sales option and then clicking the add format button. Specify the name of the format. Now we are selecting this format and clicking the configure button. This is showing a message that you want to view the default components. We have clicked the yes button and you can see header fields, item fields are appearing on the screen. If you want, you can add any bills and re field also. Now we are coming back to the main screen and selecting the same format. Here it's asking you want to add new vouchers or modify existing vouchers. We are selecting the add new vouchers option. Then masters creation info that is create new masters used in vouchers that is if busy found any such master which is not yet created in busy then shall busy created so you can enable this option and then you need to specify the default information for creation of masters like parent group for account item tax category for item parent group for material center these are basically the mandatory field without which the masters cannot be saved so you can specify a default data for them next is select fields it is you want to pick data from item master that is item price tax rate or you want to auto calculate tax amount item amount and so on next is configure bill sundries as we have not selected any bill sundry field in the format so here you can specify if you want any number of bill sundries and then specify the bill sundry name and its percentage 
click update button on clicking the update button busy has shown a message that voucher numbering is set to automatic you need to first set it to manual or not required so we are clicking the yes button and then a screen is appearing where we are entering the voucher details that is party name item name quantity of items sold bills and amount and so on and you can see on the screen that busy has shown a message that one voucher has been added you can create or add as many vouchers as you want using this screen Next is bulk payment utility. Using bulk payment utility option, you can enter details of the payments you have made. In. So first, you need to select you want to view details for amount payable or bill references. Amount payable that is on account entries and bill references that is the entries for which bill references have been created. Then you want to view the pending bills or the due bills. We'll understand this with the help of an example. Suppose a bill is due on tenth of January. So till tenth of January. that bill is considered to be pending and from 10 january itself it's considered as due bills then you need to specify the date on which you want to view the bill status voucher series count range you can specify and click the down arrow button now you can specify the details for the payment voucher that is voucher series date bank cash account discount percentage if you want to specify you can then the discount account to be affected and check number starting from that is if you want to enter check details then you can enter the starting check number here and visible increment this number by one in each entry then you can see all the references are appearing on the screen here one thing to note is that if the pending amount and the amount paid is different and you have specified yes in the clear full option then busy will treat the difference in amount as discount amount and busy will show that amount in the discount account if you do not want to clear full references that is you want to clear reference partially then you can specify a different amount paid amount and but you can specify no in the clear full column busy will treat it as a partial clear entry next you can see voucher application option but before discussing this option we'll discuss the set voucher as template option as this option will be used in voucher application also on clicking the set voucher as template option you can see on the screen first you need to select the voucher type here we are selecting the voucher type as payment then click the show vouchers list option then you need to specify the filtration criteria and you can select a voucher which is to be treated as template voucher that is based on this tagging will be done or application will be done specify a name for the voucher template and click ok button now we will be discussing the voucher replication option using voucher replication option you can replicate vouchers that is you can create multiple vouchers basically you are not copying the vouchers you are creating multiple vouchers or a single voucher from a base template voucher on selecting this option pre voucher replication screen will appear with many options first option is single voucher for different accounts that is you want to replicate voucher for different accounts on selecting this option next you need to specify the voucher type we are selecting the payment and selecting the template that we have just created then you need to specify the date on which the replication will be done and here busy is showing select account to be changed that is you want to change the party account or the bank account we are selecting the party account and then you need to specify the select accounts for which vouchers are to be generated that is you need to select the accounts for which voucher replication will be done that is instead of bright electrical accounts which accounts will be debited in the voucher so you can select the required accounts from the list next is single voucher with different dates that is you want to post same voucher but with different dates so here again we are selecting the template you can specify that vouchers are to be replicated daily on weekly basis fortnightly basis or on monthly basis then you can specify the starting date ending date and the day between that we are, here we have specified from 1 to 6 that is between 1 to 6th day of the month you can replicate the voucher then generate amount randomly if you want to generate voucher for a random amount that is you do not want to generate or replicate voucher for the same amount then you can specify yes here and then you can specify the range for the amount or you want to specify the total amount you can specify any such criteria Next option is all voucher in a particular date that is you want to replicate all the vouchers on a particular date here you will say select the voucher and all these vouchers will be replicated but the voucher date will differ so this is the voucher replication next is voucher template tagging option using this option you, you can tag a voucher template based on different masters for example if you want to whenever you select a party in the sales voucher then all the details shall be picked automatically that is the header entries item entries or bills and re entry here on the screen you can see that we have selected an account as arch enterprises and we have specified the voucher template so whenever you select the party as arch enterprises all the details will be filled up in the voucher based on the template voucher 
Similarly, you can specify the template tagging on the basis of account group, purchase type, sale type or series. So whenever you will select this particular sale type, purchase type or series, then all the details will be entered in the voucher automatically based on the template you have specified. So these are all options we have to discuss in this chapter. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily use options provided in the bulk updations menu. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.